welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel on a very bumpy road. I am Jack and I am disgusted. And why am I disgusted? Well, lots of reasons. But primarily, we I would have to say we live in a very evil country. We have a very evil and demonic government. We have a very satanic leadership. And that's all three branches of government. That's all the of the alphabet soup agencies that uh, view the United States American people as enemies. That goes for the Department of Defense, which views the American people as enemies, as enemy combatants. I am very disgusted that I I spent five years in the United States Marine Corps honorably serving this dishonorable country. Of course, hindsight is 2020. I was very young, very naive. I was I went to boot camp at 17. I am a pre-911 Marine. So I wasn't a knee-jerk guy. It was that old nonsense happened after I got out of boot camp. I feel like I squandered five years and I am ashamed of the five years I spent in service to such a despicable country that clearly hates their own people and hates the design, what the design and what the intent of the United States was supposed to be for. But all is not lost. Though I have taken down all my, pretty much all my Marine Corps paraphernalia and replaced it with other things that are not Marine Corps related, eh, save for one, my plaque. I still have all that training that the government paid for. I, I learned valuable lessons and valuable training. After all, every Marine is a rifleman first. Isn't that right? There's a lot of us too. We got a lot of good training. I'll just leave that right there. But why am I so particularly disgusted now? Why? Because Lieutenant Colonel Scheller he was, a, he was a fine United States Marine. He's the kind of, he's the type of CEO that you would want. Says it straight up, has principles. Squared away. I would have been proud to serve under Lieutenant Colonel Scheller. I would have been proud to call him a CEO. He's behind bars for doing what a true Marine officer should do. And that is speak up knowing there are consequences, but to speak up and say, hey, something is amiss here. Hey, this doesn't appear quite right. Hey, we need to have some sort of, we need to have some sort of, uh, you know, accountability for the mistakes that have been made that have cost the lives of maybe, maybe, Marines that had been trained while under his watch. And now he's riding away in Lejeune. I did brig chasing once. That's where you you take a, a Marine to the brig. And I took a Marine to Lejeune brig before. It wasn't a good day. It wasn't a good feeling. You know, I wasn't the one in the brig. 
for a decorated honorable man an honorable marine to be relegated to Lejeune's brig for speaking his mind there are consequences true but to face court martial that's not the marine corps I was in or so I thought God knows how long it's been corrupt and despicable. I wash my hands of my service in the Marine Corps. I don't. I'll take the training, I'll take the uh, lessons learned, and I'll apply them in my life needed but I will not support the United States Marine Corps nor will I support the Department of Defense whereas we have actual criminals like Millie Miley that fat slob of a general I guess there's no uh, physical requirements in the army, is there? Melee. Make sure that your soldiers are squared away and in weight. But you can't stay away from the freaking donut plate every morning in the office, can you? Millie is a career criminal. Politician, they all are. Generals are all politicians. They don't do squat. I have no respect whatsoever for our military leadership. I have no respect whatsoever for any governmental institution or any governmental bond. I, why should I? They're all clowns. And they all disgust me. Anyway, that's all I had. I think it's a shame that Lieutenant Colonel Scheller is where he's at. And I think it's disgusting that it's making this whole thing, all this stuff going on, I can't be the only one. I can't be the only Marine who regrets his service and regrets serving honorably. I loved being a Marine. While there was some others that were saying, eat the apple, F the core. That was the whole thing. That these people who joined, knowing full well the Marine Corps is gonna be hard, they would say, eat the apple, F the core. <laughs> Oh, I loved being a Marine. It was hard, and there was times where it wasn't enjoyable, and there was times when I didn't care for it as much. And I would have stayed in had I not accidentally missed a cutoff on a re-enlistment. Didn't know I did. But now I'm glad I didn't, and I feel that God had a hand in that. And God had a hand in my failed re-enlistment afterwards. God didn't want me doing that. I'm glad he didn't. For what it's become, I wouldn't serve this country for any amount of money. This country is going to fall. This country will burn. And we deserve to burn. We are evil. Decadent. 
All empires fail, all empires fall. Look at Rome. Look at the uh, British Empire. They all fell. And so will we. I'm out here for now. You have yourself a fantastic day.